Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this evening's Board of Education meeting held in the Town Hall Chambers. The date is Tuesday, December 10th, 2019. I appreciate it if all cell phones or electronic devices are turned off as this meeting is being recorded. Ellen, would you please take a roll call? Thank you, Chairperson Carey. Mr. Cassio? Here. Mrs. Evans? Here. Mrs. Granado? Present. Mr. Lesser? Here. Mr. Michaels? Here. Mrs. Paradise? Present. Mr. Riley? Here. Vice Chairperson Mr. He Healy? Here. Excuse me. And Chairperson Mr. Carey? Here. And Weathersfield High School Student Representative Mr. Isaac Santos? Here. All present. Thank you, Ellen. I'd like to call John Martin, Weathersfield Teacher of the Year, up to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mr. Emmett, student and staff recognition. Yes, this evening I am uh, very proud to have a uh, staff recognition. Um, last Wednesday evening, I had the honor and privilege of being able to uh, walk across the stage at the Bushnell with Mr. John Martin, Weathersfield's Teacher of the Year. Not only was John Teacher of the Year, he was a state semifinalist for Teacher of the Year and represents the second Weathersfield teacher in the past six years uh, to be bestowed the honor of a state semifinalist. So, I'd like it if Mr. Martin could come up and just talk a little bit about the process. There's a little bit of work involved with this. Yeah, and then also talk a little bit about what um, lies ahead for you as a semifinalist, John. Michael, thanks for inviting me here today. Um, again, I'm John Martin. I'm Weathersfield uh, Public Schools Teacher of the Year for the 2019-20 school year. I also want to uh, welcome back uh, re-elected board members, some, some old friends, and also welcome all the new board members who have just been elected and especially my boy Isaac Santos. Uh, congratulations for being made student rep. Uh, yeah, so I was named uh, District Teacher of the Year, which came as a complete surprise to me right around May of last year. And uh, right after I got back from taking some of uh, our high school students to New Zealand and Australia, I got working on approximately eight essays. And as an English teacher, it was still really hard because you're talking about yourself, which is sometimes the hardest thing to write about. Um, luckily enough, I was chosen as a semifinalist, and I uh, went to the State House and was interviewed much in a room like this, but my seat was about there, and I had about 35 people surrounding me in a, in a situation like that. Um, and I was chosen as a, uh, as a semifinalist. So out of um, 513 or so um, educators who were chosen as district teachers of the year, um, I was in the top about 13. Um, huge, it, was, it was a really big honor, and it comes with a lot of opportunities for me and for the district. Um, the biggest thing is professional uh, development and leadership opportunities throughout the entire 2019-20 school year. Um, I have teacher leader training with the Connecticut State Department of Ed, which starts um, in about a month. Um, I, am, I am expected to lead the Empower to Lead Symposium with the Mohegan Tribe. And I work, I'm going to be working very closely with the Mark Twain House, uh, Mystic Seaport, the Mohegan Tribe again, and the State Department of Education. Uh, I have the opportunity to work with some of the greatest minds in education that our state has to offer, and I'm really humbled and excited to do so. Uh, my plan is to not have this professional development sit solely with me. Um, my goal is to, number one, bring it to my kids in my classroom, but that's a pretty small number compared to how many we have in this entire district. My ultimate goal is to bring this to not only teachers within my school, but also teachers across the district, so all, all students in Weathersfield can really benefit from the experiences that I've been given across the next year. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, John. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Would any board members like to make comments? Ms. Granado. 
Um, I met John when we started our think tank. Remember Sally? It was about three to four years ago for an academy model in the schools. And teachers were invited to be there with board members and uh, members of the community. And John walks in, first of all, he's so tall. His presence alone was overwhelming. And then he starts talking and we're mesmerized by his voice. And then he kept saying, my kids in my classroom. And you near and endeared yourself to all of us just doing that. It was wonderful working with you. And we did get that academy model off the ground. Thank you. And good luck, John. That was a wonderful uh, recognition for you. Any other board members? Ms. Paradise. Um, I met John by being a student in his classroom. He was, I was asked to see, visit the high school with Mr. Moore, and he assigned me to Mr. John's, um, John's class. So I pretended to be a student in the class, and they were having a writing exercise where um, every child had to jump up and move to the next desk to see, write to one question. You know, it might have been, who is your, who do you look up to the most? And you just wrote quickly. You had like one minute, and you, it was, his bell went off, moved to another. And, and the kids just loved the action in the classroom, the positive responses he gave. I enjoyed being a student again because when I read what the kid before me said, I said, geez, I don't know that guy. <laughs> so I was learning a lot of information from my point of view from being in that high school 50 years ago. So um, John, you do a great job every day. The kids love you, and that's, that makes it the whole job worth it, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Anyone else? Mr. Lesser. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I've had the pleasure of working with John first in the academy, as Bobby mentioned, and then the last couple of years on the Career Advisory Board. And as he's a tremendously talented and dedicated teacher, he sets a wonderful example. And anytime we need a volunteer for something, or need some project done with the Career Advisory Board, he's always the first to raise his hand. He's a true professional. He's a great guy. And really, this is an honor for all of us in Weathersfield that you're representing us. So congratulations, John, and thank you for all you do. Else? All right. I'd just like to congratulate you. I'm a fellow educator, and I know it's a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication, and the town is definitely lucky to have you in our high school, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Mr. No, what are we? Uh, no, sorry. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes from the November 26, 2019 regularly scheduled Board of Education meeting? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. I have, do, I, uh, do I have any corrections? I have a couple of corrections. Yes. Uh, I think at the, the top of the page it says that um, Chairperson Granado asked folks to turn off their cell phones. I think that's the problem. You might have done that, though. You, <laughs> you could have, <laughs> but I think that might be um, Charles. Mm -hmm. And the, the other uh, correction I have, um, and it's in the uh, student policy 5100, uh, where it talks about school attendance. I'm not sure if this is a minutes correction or a policy correction. Uh, have is spelled H-V-E, so that should probably get um, corrected. Okay. Any Thank other you. corrections? All right. All in favor? As Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Motion passes. All right, can I have a motion to approve the minutes from the December 5th, 2019 Special Board of Education meeting? So moved. Do I have a second? I'll second. second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Abstain. 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 All right, uh, now is public comment. Anyone from the public wishing to make a comment, please come up to the podium, state your name and address. All right, seeing none, we'll move on to communications. Mr. Emmett. Thank you, Mr. Carey. Uh, good evening, everyone. Wanted to provide an update uh, for everyone on a variety of items uh, throughout the district. First and foremost, uh, give you an update on the uh, web principal search. Uh, I attended uh, a parent focus group last Wednesday evening along with Mrs. Destoli and Mr. Donahue. Um, we are going to delay the uh, Round one interview scheduled in mid-January. We are making some adjustments to this um, particular schedule while still moving forward. Um, we got some great feedback from parents and we certainly wanna make sure that their voice is heard. So in addition to delaying the round one interview schedule to mid-January, 
We're going to be adding an additional parent representative uh, to the interview committee for round one. Superintendent, yours truly, will join the paper and phone screen group. We did uh, paper screens today, actually. Uh, the web leadership team will be added to round two of the interview committee. So at the central office level, we're going to have the web leadership committee join us for that uh, interview. In addition to that, we're going to be developing a performance assessment for candidates that includes a parent group. So we're looking for a web parent group that we will select and they will be doing a performance assessment with candidates. We have also adjusted the current posting. It's been adjusted uh, with regard to the start date from April 1st, 2020 to April 1st, 2020 or a July 1, 2020 start date. And we are committed to a second interim if a top candidate does not emerge or if the top candidate wishes to begin on July 1st. Other news, uh, I had the honor and privilege yesterday to sit with the Hanmer leadership team uh, along with uh, Principal Cohn. We met with Joe Brummer who did a presentation on uh, the topic of restorative justice. One of the things that we've talked about in our administrative team meetings is with regard to behavior support and programs and, and philosophies that we have in our schools, we have a little bit of everything. So we have schools that have been trained in responsive classroom, we have schools that are doing PBIS, we have schools that are doing restorative practices. So that coupled with the fact we have social emotional learning curriculum in place, knowing that we have to update our uh, school climate and safety plans, we felt this was a good opportunity to explore ways of making sure we dovetail everything together. So uh, it was an interesting meeting. We certainly got some great information and I look forward to uh, seeing where the web leadership team um, finishes out with this. With regard to budget, we're working on a development the development for the budget or of the budget for the 2020-2021 school year. We'll have our first budget workshop next Tuesday, December 17th at 6.30 in the Stillman Building. This meeting is going to offer a first look at some of the budget drivers for the upcoming year and will give you, the board members, an opportunity to start to digest some of the numbers up front. Again, this will not be a complete budget document. I want to be clear on that. We're still working on some of our initiatives in, in areas that we need across departments, but this will give you some units detail where you can start formulating questions and we can have some dialogue um, into January when we have additional budget workshops. I had the uh, opportunity to attend the uh, annual Weathersfield Transition Academy holiday party at the Pickens Center occurring yesterday. Uh, joining our Weathersfield students, we actually had a full house. We had students and staff from Newington, Rocky Hill, South Windsor, Region 13, the Middlesex County program, as well as Colchester joined us for the first time. Um, I want to mention uh, also, and Isaac, this one is for you, the delay schedule. Just a reminder with regard to the delay schedule, please remember that in the event of a delay, our schedules now reflect a two-hour delay instead of 90 minutes. So be aware of that. In the event that I have to call a delay tomorrow. and He's asking about tomorrow. Isaac, please, again, please do not email me. That is one thing I will say. With the one-to-one -one initiative, I have received many emails from students. Please understand I appreciate your opinions, but I'm always looking at safety first, so my process includes contacting physical services, making sure that roads uh, are clear, making sure sidewalks and driveways and parking lots are passable. I talk with my fellow superintendents, and we make the decision that's based in the best interests of kids and, and certainly our staff, all right? So I will be up at about 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, so if you want me to give you a call, and let you know, <laughs> I can certainly do so. Uh, also, uh, Ms. from Mr. Maltesi, uh, fall sports have uh, wrapped up. Last night at the annual fall CCC banquet, four of our coaches received championship certificates for winning a divisional title. Congratulations to Rob Yakum Boys Soccer, Tony Leone Girls Soccer, Lee Schwartzman Girls Swimming, and Matt McKinnon Football. Also at the CCC banquet last night, Weathersfield was awarded with the CCC North Fall Sportsmanship Award. Now it's interesting, you've already heard in the previous board meeting girls soccer and volleyball. Uh, now we've added a um, district level sportsmanship award and that award is voted on by coaches from the other towns in the sports of cross country, soccer, field hockey, swimming, volleyball and football. So I think that speaks to uh, the character and integrity of our district. 
Overall, the fall season was certainly a success. Mr. Maltesi reports in addition to the above, we saw every team in the program achieve a winning regular season record and qualify for postseason play. Uh, while to date we have eight student athletes have the honor of CHSCA All-State status. So congratulations um, to all of our athletes. I um, want to also bring something to the attention of uh, board members and the public in general, and that is the issue of being careful with what we say. This afternoon at Silas Dean Middle School, we had a situation where we had a student who made a comment about shooting up the school. While this was a joke, I will tell you, it got traction and we had other students that heard it and the rumor mill started to fly. So I wanna reach out to those students that immediately heard it and went right to administration and SRO, Bob Arduini, and reported it. So we found it to be a complete hoax. However, the damage is done. So I wanna make sure all students know, if you say it, you own it. You have to be careful with what you say. We take it seriously. The student that said this earned a visit from the Weathersfield Police Department and is facing consequences. In this day and age, we have to focus on keeping our kids safe. And even if we intend it just as a joke, we're taking it seriously. So it's a message to all of our students. I'll be sending out a school messenger message to students uh, with regard to this issue tomorrow. I know Mrs. Bannon sent out a communication to the Silas Dean community earlier today. I did meet with Mrs. Bannon this afternoon and um, she has followed up with Officer uh, Bob Arduini with regard to the situation. And finally, on a more positive note, uh, I just want to wish everyone in the Weathersfield community a very happy holiday season. I wish you a safe and um, happy and healthy um, season with your families. So and with that, communications. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Emmett. Moving on to action items. Can I have a motion to approve the Board of Education meeting dates for 2020-2021? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Mr. Emmett, any comments? Yeah, this um, focuses in on the uh, 2021 uh, school year. Uh, there is one date in April that falls on a vacation. Our policy um, does speak to the effect that if the uh, vacation happens for a board meeting, we should cancel that. So we've done that in advance. The December meeting is on there because the December vacation happens after the board meeting. So, Thank you. Any questions? All, right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Abstain? Motion passes. Thank you. Next motion, approval of the legislation up policy updates. Do I have a motion? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussions? Yes, Ms. Paradise, Steinmiller oh. Paradise. Apologies. Ms. Paradise is fine. Um, Mr. Emmett and I had a discussion on a policy that related to safe school climates and by mandates it should be posted on our websites and for your children's schools so if you just pull up your Ham Hamner school you can put in the search box safe school climates well while we were investigating that which is a tr triumph for me to get it to work on a computer but um he also said to me and i think this is something we should do is that some of these safe school climate policies that are written need to be updated so i um, agree with the board that we should pass it and keep up what we have there but review it with each principal and put up the new one as soon as they can get them ready because many things have happened since those were originally written so I just want to update parents that you're seeing one on there because that's the mandate but you will see an updated one in the future thank you thank you Rick mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. any other questions or comments all in favor Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? All right, motion passes, thank you. In your uh, reports and discussion items within your uh, packet, look for the dates of the holiday concerts coming up as well as committee meetings that are coming up. And if you cannot make a committee meeting, make sure you tell the chair of the committee. Meetings held, the special board of education meeting on 12-5, and that was pertaining to student matters. Uh, meeting scheduled, we have the policy and planning on 1620 at 630, community public relations on 17 at 6 p.m., and the Weathersfield Early Childhood Collaboration Collaborative is on the 13th of January at 430. There's no unfin unfinished business. 
Public comment. I remind anyone who wants to come up and make public comment, please come to the podium. State your name and address. I'll be brief. Beth Riley, 12 Hubbard Place. I was trying to write down what I was going to say and then I ran out of time. Um, thank you to all the board members. I forgot to say this at the last meeting. Thank you so much. I know this is a volunteer position and um, I know the community really appreciates uh, your volunteerism. Um, also, thanks for having the web teachers on the interview committee. That means a lot and I'm glad you took my, uh, took not just my comment, but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad you took that into consideration. Um, just really quickly on the restorative practices, big thumbs up um, for elementary and middle and high school. Um, one other thing you might want to look into in the future, obviously this is just one person's opinion, but it's called CPS Collaborative and Proactive Solutions by Dr. <gasps> Ross Green. I don't know him or I'm not involved in, uh, I don't own stock in his company or anything, mm -hmm. but I've used it with a lot of success, and you, you I have as well. highly recommend it. Um, and then just, I know budget is coming up, and I am all for fully funding our schools and hope that this continues. Um, I know you can't answer this, but I know there's a separate finance committee, and I don't know if the public can attend that. So can I like a thumbs up, a yes? Okay, yes. all right, thank yes. you. All right, and congrats to Teacher of the Year, awesome. Thank you. Any other members of the public wishing to make comment? Seeing none, we'll move on to board comment. Any board members would like to make comments? Mr. Healy. Uh, just generally uh, on the issue that Beth just spoke to, all the subcommittee meetings uh, are posted on our website and they are open to the public and we urge you if you'd like to participate in them. Uh, it, it's at that level that we do a little bit more discussion about the intricacies of it before we bring it back to here and then have another debate. So you get to really uh, examine or you get to see what goes into making the sausage on these things. Sometimes it's pretty, most of the times it's pretty. It's pretty good actually. So I would urge you to do that. Second thing, I was unable to go to the game in New Canaan but I will tell you watching the Newington game was uh, absolutely fantastic. I thought it was a great crowd. Well managed in bad conditions overall. So I just want to give a shout out to you guys for doing that and uh, obviously wish everyone a great Merry Christmas and holiday and safe return if you're uh, leaving town. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Healy. Anyone else wishing to make comments? Yes, Mr. Cassio. Thank you, Chuck. Um, first of all, congratulations, John Martin. Shining example of uh, our staff and for everyone that can use you as a role model. Thank you. Um, we tried to get a facilities and maintenance committee meeting together. Unfortunately, on December 16th, there was not a quorum. Uh, I know a notice went out looking for additional dates. I hope that those people on the committee did respond. We're looking for uh, mid-January, um, the week of January 13th. So if you are on that committee, I would like you to let Deb know your schedule so we can certainly get that meeting going. It's not that we didn't want one, we just couldn't pull the committee together. Um, and wish everyone a happy holiday and a happy new year. Thank you. Thank you. Any other board members wishing to make comment? Ms. Granato. Um, this is our last meeting for 2019, so um, I want to wish everybody a very happy holiday um, and happy Kwanzaa and Merry Christmas. And as we learned last meeting through our WEC group that there's 44 languages spoken in Wethersfield, so therefore there must be many customs being celebrated. So I would like to wish everyone um, whatever their custom is, and I ha think Happy Festivus would cover it all, but also um, I'd like to wish everyone peace on earth. Thank you, Ms. Granato. Mr. Lesser. Thank you, Chuck. Um, just want to let everybody know that this Friday, the high school um, uh, career counselor, Mark Danaher, is going to be con conducting uh, mock interviews, and we are still looking for people, so people in the public, board members, if you wish to uh, conduct some mock interviews with students, there's a nine o'clock, I think it starts at 9, 10, 
interview group and there's one at 1250 it lasts about an hour and we're still looking for volunteers i'm coming in the morning but it's to uh, help students with interviewing skills so we're really excited about that and it's part of the work that the career advisory board's been doing and lastly i'll just echo my fellow uh, board um, colleagues here and wishing everyone a happy and healthy holiday season thank you chuck thank you anyone else mr riley I just wanted to wish everyone happy holidays, and I feel very fortunate to be uh, up here with so many other uh, uh, qualified uh, folks. So thank you. Thank you. Isaac. <clears throat> Good evening, board members. These past weeks at WHS have been quite busy. Fall sports have officially ended with football winning the Thanksgiving game 35-0 and, and unfortunately losing in the quarterfinals against New Canaan ending their season eight and three. As Mr. Emmett said, with winning records, field hockey's record was 15 and one, boys soccer 18, five and one, girls soccer 11 and six, and girls volleyball 11 and 11. Overall, we had a great season and now starting up in the winter is boys and girls basketball, wrestling, and indoor track. The 19th annual uh, Hunger Project hosted by Mr. John Sand has been announced. The students are getting excited as winter break nears, while also preparing themselves for the midterms coming up next month. Tomorrow, pictures will be taken for the yearbook. For the yearbook superlatives, students voted each other for various topics, such as most class parent and best dancer. Next Tuesday, seniors will have their measurements taken for the cap and gowns. To remind you all, again, the gowns will be all navy. They will no, no longer be white gowns. And to end, I'd like to congratulate Teacher of the Year, John Martin, on his success. That is all. Thank you, Isaac. Anyone else wishing to make comment? All right, I'll end with just saying happy holidays and happy new year to everyone, and we'll see you in 2020. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. A second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Abstain. Motion passes. Thank you.